Let's take a look at the Wholesale Chess Analog Timer. Included in the box are these two stoppers and what these are used for is once you've got the battery installed to keep the clock from starting you can use these stoppers put them underneath each button and with both buttons in that position the clock won't start and wear down your battery also included in the box is a user manual that will show you everything that we're going to talk about today. For now I'm going to remove these stoppers and set them aside. Okay. If we turn the clock around to the back of the clock you'll see we have a battery cover. Now this is an analog clock um, but we do not have, it's not wound, we use a battery and that helps prevent the clock from being overwound and damaging the internal components. So you'll need to install one AA battery which is not included. Then replace the the back of the battery cover. I'm going to turn the clock back around. Now if you'll notice this button's depressed so the second hand on this part of the clock is actually running. You can stop that by trying to just center those two buttons to make sure that both sides of the clock are, are uh, not running. Now, to play a game, we're going to keep this simple. The first thing I want to do is I want to set both clocks to 12 o'clock. And what I'm doing is I'm using the two buttons on the back or the two knobs on the back to adjust the time. Don't worry about the second hand. Just set both clocks uh, to 12 o'clock as accurate as possible. Now that's one thing about an analog clock. It's not quite as accurate as a digital clock. Um, so you want to get it as close as you can to 12. Then you want to decide what type of game you're going to play. Uh, in this case, we're going to play a 10-minute quick game for both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the minute hand and set it back to 10 minutes to 12 on both sides of the clock. Okay, and at 10 minutes 12 we're ready to go. I can press the button down on this side and you'll notice that the timer on that side starts to count down. Now, the game ends or someone has run out of time when one of these red flags at the top falls down. I'm going to speed time up here. I will stop the clock. But if you're in a game and you're watching this time on the right side ticking away, the minute hand goes away. As you notice, when it gets near the top, it's going to start to raise up that flag. And then when it hits 12 o'clock straight up, that flag will fall. When the flag has fallen, that means your time has run out and uh, the game is over. If you wanted to play a game for longer than one hour, when setting the clock, you could set it to let's say 1030 so that way you have a 90 minute time on your side you just need to remember that as the flag falls the first time ignore that and it's only when it falls the second time at 12 o'clock straight up that uh, the game is over when you're not using the clock we suggest that you remove the battery that helps prevent corrosion uh, if it's going to be more than a couple weeks uh, before you'll play again uh, the analog timer comes with uh, a one-year warranty. If you have any problems with that, just contact Wholesale Chess, and we'll be happy to repair or replace the clock for you. That's it. Pretty straightforward, easy to use, and uh, quick to set up.